Hi, Tile at Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about DIY headphones. Uh, in the hobby of headphones and enthusiasts who spend a lot of time listening to headphones, uh, there is a very strong DIY segment. And uh, fundamentally, that DIY segment is uh, building amplifiers and, and doing the electronic side of it, uh, creating headphone amplifiers and D to A converters and so on. Uh, but there is uh, a small group of people who build their own headphones or heavily modify uh, existing headphones. And among that group of people, there's a whole bunch of guys who um, play around with old orthodynamic uh, planar magnetic headphones. Um, today we're going to talk about the headphones from uh, Donald Basil, Basil, not really sure, uh, DBEL84. Uh, Don sent his uh, headphones in for measurement. One of the things that I'm doing right now at Inner Fidelity is uh, measuring headphones for DIYers um, to try to offer some feedback on how their headphones are working and how they measure. and just to add to the dialogue another piece of information as they play around with their headphones. And so Donald sent his headphones in for measurement and I've fallen in love with them. They are just great fun. Uh, so I thought I'd go through them a little bit and show you some DIY headphones from DBEL84. Um, the first ones here are the uh, Wharfdale isodynamic headphones that are heavily modified. As you can see, the uh, zebra wood um, cups uh, have Don built zebra wood cups to put the drivers in. I don't think this is the original headband, but I'm not really sure. Um, and uh, you can see the ceiling around here and the, the pads that um, I think they're homemade, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, these headphones measured really poorly, uh, but might have been the, the most fun to listen to out of the headphones here. I was quite surprised, uh, given the measurements, how fun they were to listen to. Uh, he also sent in uh, some Leak headphones. Uh, these are essentially the Wharfdale uh, ID2 um, but uh, man, but labeled by leak. Um, these have also been modified. Uh, mostly they changed the damping in the headphones and um, to try to get the drivers uh, under better control. Um, the the Zebrawood Wharfdales sounded quite unique and these next four headphones I thought sounded fairly similar actually. Um, they uh, tend to have uh, a really nice mid-range and a somewhat withdrawn top end, a little bit slow. They're not quite as articulate as contemporary modern headphones, or good modern headphones. Um, and the bass uh, tends to be affected by the pads. A lot of the, the pads are old or soft or small, but they, they tend to lose some performance in the bass, I think, typically because of the pads. These are uh, Yamaha HP50A. Uh, they, uh, Donald said they were originally a mono headphone and given away free when you purchased uh, an organ from uh, Yamaha. <clears throat> the next one is a Fostex T10. This is a very early Fostex orthodynamic headphone. Um, they're pretty cool. Old school, definitely. Uh, again, a good listen, generally speaking. Uh, some Telefunken TH700s. Um, very large headphone, a lot of clamping pressure on your head. Uh, pads that are um, very thin and uh, hard to seal. Um, but again, generally pretty good sounding. And then my favorites, these are Yamaha YHD2s that Donald made. The entire cup here is as he said, gruelingly hand carved. Uh, and you can see the pads that are uh, hand stitched. <clears throat> these actually sounded quite good, I thought. I really enjoyed these headphones. Um, uh, I, I wore them one night in bed and, uh, and watched a movie and they were very cool. Uh, 
So I hope you've enjoyed this little look at DIY headphones. And if you're interested in getting into it yourself, uh, I think the is the Fostex uh, T50P. I can't remember the number. I'm sorry, right off the top of my head. But there are current in production orthodynamic headphones that guys are modifying and. Uh, uh, there's lots of threads on it on HeadFi, and you too could uh, play around with it. I think I'm going to play around with doing it one of, the, one of these days myself, and I'm looking forward to that. All right, well, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.